Patreon.com slash the walk off podcast. Uh, $4 a month gets you in there. If you're <laughs> watching this right now and you haven't hit the like button, Billy, get on it. Bug your brother. Tell him to do the same. Newly acquired Dalton Bar Show. Turn now, Bar Show, he, he is looking good. He's been plugged into that cleanup spot in the lineup for this team that desperately needed some competent left handed bats in that lineup. And he has been just that. He's so far so good. Right, three hits in twelve mm-hmm. plate appearances. He has that uh, couple RBIs, couple runs driven in, scored a couple times. He's looked good on the base path. The real impressive part, though, has been the defense. Has he been? Has he been as advertised to you, Adam? I mean, yeah. Again, small sample size, but yeah, absolutely. He's. I mean, that diving catch that he made. Uh, chasing that ball down in the wind in center field so in St. Louis yesterday. Great, great stuff. And that was um, that was a play you just knew in your heart, Lourdes Gurriel Jr., bless him, would have never made. Yeah, I don't, him or Ty Oscar, I don't think. Yeah. There is a special category of talent to be able to run at max effort speed, stretch out, to the max and make a diving catch. Like it is, it's one thing to make a diving catch where you're timing it and you're, you know, you're setting it up and you're, mm-hmm. you're judging the ball and whatever. And that's a, a difficult thing itself, but to run out at, at full tilt and make a across your body catch like that, uh, cracking a ball down in the wind. It was, it didn't even look as good as the difficulty of that catch yeah. would require, I think, which also, not that like it looked easy, like it looked like a hard catch, but I think that was a much harder catch than it even looked. So here is a question for you folks listening. The grounds crew. How does everyone feel about Dalton Var show in that cleanup spot? Personally, I am fine with it. Uh, John Schneider came out and did mention in a press press conference after I think it was game two that he is going to run with Dalton Bar show in this spot for a little while. He's going to give him some rope here, maybe the month of April. We'll see what happens. Um, I would love to hear from the grounds crew and what you think. Should he be hitting fourth? Should he be in that leadoff spot? We've yet to see him hit a home run, but in Dalton Bar shows defense, we've yet to see a home run from this Toronto blue Jays team. So Kind of tough to throw Dalton under the bus there when there are a bench load of other players that have yet to to do the same. Now, I think that that uh, home run embargo is going to be broken as they go to Kansas City starting today. Um, I, I think that, like, conventionally, the cleanup guy, the number four guy, is a power guy. I don't mm-hmm. think there's much you can say about this Blue Jays lineup that is conventional, though. Like, our top three hitters are all cleanup guys. True. You know, like what is the value of a, of a power guy? Number four is, you know, conventionally you're saying, well, we got three guys in front of them who are likely to get on base. So we got a guy coming up with ducks on the pond. Right. Mm-hmm. But with Vladdy hitting third, like you're, he's your quintessential cleanup guy already, but you have him hitting third for the extra at bats that accumulate over the course of a season. So, I mean, there's going to be potentially 40 times this year where Vladdy just empties the bases anyways. Um, <laughs> we'll take that. I like Varsho's speed. Yes. Because he sets up nicely for the rest of the lineup behind him. Like, I, I do mm-hmm. like the way we had it yesterday with Varsho four and then Kirk and Chapman behind him because... Var show like getting good. on in, in that cleanup spot, it really does kind of um, help a lot with this lineup design when Kirky is hitting behind him because Kirk is obviously a big candidate to hit into double plays. He just mm-hmm. doesn't have the speed. Now, it's not like Kirk is a big ground ball hitter. However, when he does hit it on the ball or on the ground, it is a definite risk if there's a guy on first base and having a dude like Varsho, who's got that above average speed and that above average base running acumen is going to eliminate some double plays that we would have seen otherwise, which is nothing but good news. Uh, one more feather in Dalton Varsho's cap is one of criticism throughout his career is that he 
was likely to get platooned versus lefty pitchers. Can't hit lefties. Again, small sample size. But Very small. The one game that he remained in the lineup against St. Louis uh, against a lefty, um, what was it? Jordan Montgomery. Got two hits off of him. Went That's the right. other way with it. I mean, look good. So mm-hmm. small sample size, but I'm happy with it. You know, if if he's staying in the lineup versus lefties and he's just going to be a 140, 150 game outfielder, he's going to have to hit lefties from time to time. And uh, I'm glad to see so far it's happened. Honestly, right? it's it's been a good start for Varsho, right? First game of the season, he had a sacrifice fly. He had that RBI. He had a hit to keep the the lineup rolling there when they were hot. Yes, he didn't have a hit in that second game of the season. But again, in his defense, the only one to have hits in that second game of the season was Kevin Kiermeyer. The, the whole team had two hits in total mm-hmm. and both going to KK. So, I mean, to, to hold Varsho's feet to the fire there is pretty ridiculous. And then he looked really good. Like you said, two hits against uh, his biggest Achilles heel, a lefty pitcher. You got to love to see it. And at the start of the year, you, you like to see yes. him getting hits, right? Because, you know, if he starts the year 0 for 14 against lefties, you know, that's how narratives start to get tacked to a guy, right? Like, oh, here we go. It's a lefty pitcher. We better take Varsho out of the lineup because he can't hit these guys. Mm-hmm. So a good start against lefties uh, is going to help him help his confidence and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm happy with Dalton Varsho. Looks great. Uh, no complaints, man. I'm excited to watch him play. Every time he's on the field, on the base path, balls hit to him. I'm putting down my phone and I'm watching. I'm paying attention. So He's an exciting guy to watch. That's Before we wrap up, a big thank you to our sponsor, Left Field Brewing. If you're in Toronto and you have yet to try Left Field Beer, you really should. It's one of my favorite when I was living there. Left fieldbrewery.ca you go to their shop you spend 55 bucks and then the free koozie is on us all you got to use is the code walk off do that now 